All right, get ready to dive deep into retrieval augmented generation. You know, it's like the talk of the town in AI right now, and for a good reason. It's pretty amazing. Think about it. Imagine building an AI, right, but it doesn't just rely on what it's already been told. Like canned responses. Exactly. Yeah. It can actually search through a ton of info. And find the best answer. Exactly. That's our Rauji. Basically, yeah. Combining information retrieval with that natural language AI stuff everyone's crazy about. So it's not just matching keywords or anything. These RAG agents, they can understand what you mean and put together info from different sources, all while sounding like a human. It really is like having an AI researcher on call. One that not only finds the info, but explains it to you in a way that actually makes sense. But building one of these things, it's not exactly a walk in the park. Definitely not. Experts have laid out like 12 key decisions you gotta make. Yeah, you gotta get the foundation right. It's like building a house. Can't have fancy features without a solid base. Exactly. And one of the first things they say you need to figure out is, where's this thing gonna live? Cloud. On-premise. The classic dilemma. It's like renting an apartment or building your own house, mm. right? Each has its perks and its, you know, downsides. For sure. The cloud is tempting. Easy to scale up, cheaper up front. AWS, Azure, GCP, those are the big names, right? Yeah, exactly. But then you got to think, what about security? Is my data really safe out there? And what about being tied to one company? What if you want to switch later? Exactly. On-premise, well, it's more control. Total control, really and keeps things private. But it costs more, and someone's yeah. got to manage all of that hardware, Docker, yeah. Kubernetes, that kind of stuff. Yeah. For a lot of folks, it's a tough call. Depends on what their priorities are. So thinking about our listeners out there working on their own projects, mm -hmm. what would you say is the most important thing to consider when making this choice? Hmm. It's really a balancing act. Do you need this thing to be super easy to grow? Or is keeping your data locked down the top priority? No right answer, really. Okay, so let's say we've got the deployment figured out. What's next on this foundational checklist? Model optimization. And this is a big one. Do you use pre-trained models, the kind of off-the-shelf stuff? Or do you go all in and fine-tune your own? So like buying a suit, right? Off the rack or tailor-made? Perfect analogy. The ready-made option is easy, but it might not fit perfectly. And when we're talking models, we're talking about what? Embedding models, mm. re-rankers, and of course the LLMs, the big brains of the operation. All of that. And picking the right ones is key. The MTEB leaderboard is a great resource, by the way. It ranks those embedding models, helps you see what's performing well. Helpful, but fine tuning. That's where you can get some serious performance gains. Absolutely. You tailor the model to your specific task, but it takes a lot of horsepower and a good bit of expertise. Trade-offs. Trade-offs. Ease of use versus ultimate performance. You got to find that sweet spot for your project. All right. Moving on, we've got programming language and framework. Now, I know this sounds like we're getting into the weeds, but... It matters. Choosing the right tools is key. Python seems to be the favorite these days. It is popular, yep. Langchain, Lamy Index... Those are built on Python, but JavaScript is gaining traction too, especially if you're building something web-based. The Manta kernel is a good example of that. We're not going to get too deep into specific frameworks here, just giving folks a taste. Right. But this is definitely where having the right team with the right experience can make or break things. Okay, last foundational item. And I know this sounds kind of boring. Architecture. But it's crucial. Yeah. A modular design, even if it sounds unexciting, that's what you want. Like, building with Legos. You can swap things out easily. Exactly. And configuration files, those are your best friend. They make your AI adaptable. So you can tweak things on the fly. Yeah. Imagine you need to change how your AI behaves. Wouldn't you want to just adjust a setting rather than rewriting a bunch of code? Exactly. Makes things way easier. All right. So there we have it. Four foundational pieces of the RA puzzle. Deployment, model optimization, the right language and tools, and a flexible architecture. 